guys. Hey everyone, it's Thursday again. <laughs> yeah. I'm here with Peggy from The Gathering. And we're gonna do some announcements for you in a little bit. But um, we're gonna do works in progress and kind of just wing it today and kind of hang out and have fun. I was just at The Gathering pretty much all week with the ladies. Do you have that picture of my sewing group? Mm -hmm. So Kaylee's gonna pop up a group picture here. So this is a group that I've kind of been hanging out with for I think about 12 years. So they just were at the retreat house Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yep. And uh, I, I didn't really even know they were staying. I mean, I knew they were coming, but I kind of forgot about it. So at the last minute, I uh, decided to go pack my overnight bag and hang out with them. And it's been a blast. I've got a lot of stuff done, which some of the stuff you will see here today. But um, it's really nice to have a group that you've known a long time and they've known you and you can talk about all the things going on in your life. And you yeah, know. you've had two of your oldest stitching groups. The week before last was Stitcher's Gathering yeah. with Joanne and then Social Sisters this week. So Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it is nice uh, to hang out with these ladies and spend more time with them just, you know, just other than one, you right. know, like an afternoon or whatever when right. they come to sew. So it is nice to be able to uh, stitch into, uh, so you can't, uh, keep your eyes open. Like last <laughs> night I was yawning and I'm they're like, just go to bed. I'm mm -hmm. like, I will, because <laughs> I just keep yawning and I usually don't do that, but I just want y'all to know how much fun that is to hang out with people that you've known for a long time and kind of just, you know, have everybody kind of talk about what's going on in their lives yeah. and, you know, it's, it's it's very, very fun. Or people that you haven't known for a long time. Yeah. So I have my phone here because I'm waiting for our special guest to answer her text. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to tell you who it is, but maybe some of you know. All right. She's been on quite often. But we'll over the years, we'll see if she. Uh, I asked her if she wanted to come on and whatever. Say, she's been on a couple times. She's stitched us a couple times. Yeah, she's she's come on when nobody knew. Uh, <laughs> when she's, no one invited she's her. She's been late a whole bunch of times. Oh, yeah. Now everyone knows. Now everyone knows. <laughs> I know. So we're Miss Darcy is at Searsport Rug Hooking in Florida. So I'm like, hey, let's do a connect. Let's connect their group because they're all rug hooking now. And let's collect our group and let's just say hi because... When I was there in January, I met some really fun ladies, and I want to say hi to them. <laughs> the mantra and is weird. They're, they're guessing Darcy. <laughs> they're Darcy. Yeah, Darcy. Where's Darcy? That's our T-shirt for our next road trip. Where's Darcy? <laughs> next, it'll be what do we win? Because we know. <laughs> We're in the world of currency. Yeah. Yeah. We're in the world. Of All right, Peggy. Let's do some announcements that you have. This one right here. Yep. I think All so. Right. So we're kind of moving into the next quarter here with our clubs and classes and events so first thing i wanted to let you know is primitive gatherings is closed this weekend saturday and sunday for the easter holiday so we can spend time with our peeps yep yep so we'll be back we'll be back on monday what are you doing what am i doing yeah you got any invite you want to come with me <laughs> it was it was like it was like woohoo! I went to Aldi's yesterday and bought oh. a piece of ham and here. some asparagus. So, oh, well, you, know. you can come hang out with me if you want. <laughs> well, I just I'm going over with my brother. So oh, okay, all right. So um, we just had sit and stitch this week, but um, two sessions we had. I know, right? Um, let's second. see. April second, this coming Tuesday, is a sit and stitch. Ooh, where do you see that? Oh, right down here. Because some of them are AM and some of them are AM so, and PM. Right? Yeah. Oh. So oh. just to let you know, so it, especially if you get on That's the events right. calendar, make sure if you want to come for the whole day, you need to sign up for AM and PM. Yeah. Okay. We, we, we need you to double pay for those two things. Well, and the other part of that is, is we need to let Miss Erica know how, how much many money for be or how much uh, people for food. Yep. And then another one um, in May. So April is really super busy at the gathering. So we only have the one sit and stitch. Yeah, we have a bunch can... of teachers coming. And we have a Bernina. Poultry, we have Bernina event. We have the Bittersweet Girls coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, then let's see. Stitchers Gathering, the next meeting for them is uh, April 8th. Amy's birthday. Hey. 
Ooh. We have a lot of April birthdays on Discovery. What do you think happened in April before nine months prior to April? I well, we're not going there, are we? <laughs> um, let's see. Wool Club is coming up next week as well, April 3rd, and then again on May 8th. Uh cross stitches next week. We have a bunch of clubs that are grouped together on the same day, um, just so that we can give everybody an opportunity to come. Because we're April. so booked. Yep. Yes. And we're gonna be talking about booking up in a minute too. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Bernina Social, um, that is also on the 8th of April. So that's with another club. So there's room for everybody, though. Get signed up. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, I, and let me tell you, Erica's been making the most fabulous bread. Like, I, I've gained a couple pounds in the last while. Yeah, I know. Those are yummy carbs. Roasted red pepper soup with this big, crusty bread. Slab it's like it's like artisan. It's I just want to eat the bread dipped in the soup. I don't really, I don't have to scoop the soup. I just want to dip the soup. Exactly. You know what I like? I especially when she makes it with cheese or whatever. I put it in the toaster. Yum. Anyway. All right, let's talk about this one. Okay. So the next one, Kathy Decker and I. You know, you most of you know Kathy Decker. She's been around and done lots of cool stuff with Lisa. Some videos, and she's one of them that was in my sewing group too. So Kathy week. and I are going to teach a finishing class next weekend on Friday and Saturday. It's one hundred and fifty dollars, and that includes lunch both days. So I'm just reaching off the floor here. So you don't have, you know, people say, "Well, I don't, I don't want to cross stitch, or I don't want to do big things because it's going to cost me a lot of money to get that finished." So what we're going to do in this class is teach you how to finish. You don't have to put it in a frame. You don't have to take it wherever your framer is. Um, so these are a lot of these are just found objects, like that spool that Lisa just held up. That one was actually a piece that came from Hobby Lobby. The Scotty's board? Um, you know, I'm not sure about that one. I think that's one that somebody found at a Goodwill or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to do traditional. I like the rickrack on here. Yeah. That's a good idea. That's a big idea. This one is super cool. The little, little bay. And the pattern for that one in the store, it has all of the finishing instructions, tells you how to put that bag together. Yeah, this would be cute, like on a door handle, and yep. you put some dried flowers in there. Yeah. That's a great piece. Dried hydrangeas. Whisk, bro Ooh. whisk brooms are are fun. They so just essentially just make a cover for a whisk broom and set it up on a shelf. I mean, it's so we're gonna teach you all kinds of fun you stuff. You can do a whole bunch of these, like collect them and mm -hmm. put them on a wall. So call the gathering. Don't call now because I'm not there. <laughs> um, yeah. Give her a little bit. Yeah, give me a minute. Um, so that's one hundred and fifty dollars. Like I said, um, there is lodging available if somebody wants to come. And stay overnight Friday. And we can't tell you how nice it is to sleep in those beds. I just was. I know. I, I feel great. <laughs> and let's see. Then we have. We're going here in order. So we've got. You've already heard, I'm sure. Yes. We have a big Bernina event going on. Um, or you, you don't have to be a Bernina babe to come. Because mm -mm. you can win a machine and be a Bernina babe now. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so we're gonna we're we're hoping to sell about hundred tickets. So you're gonna have a great chance to win this sewing machine. It's valued over three thousand dollars, and it's very good for piecing because it's the five millimeter machine. So the feed dogs are a little closer together. Mm -hmm. So it's a really nice piecing machine. And then we're also gonna give away about ten different baskets that we put together here from Primitive Gathering. So you have a really good chance of going home with something super cool. So all it is is $25 and that's your ticket to win the machine yep. as well. Right. And any of the other prizes, we're going to feed you. We're going to have some awesome um, hors d'oeuvres and stuff like that. Um, and Mr. Olchi and I are going to do a Q and a, so you can ask us whatever we want. And I heard he's kind of a like chip off the old block, you know, he's kind of a very interesting man. So I can't wait to hang out with him and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Yeah. 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 So, um, but you have to be present to win this. Yes, day. we have to be here because we want the winner to be yell like the price is right. Right. And, right? and take it home with you. And there's a little agenda. So um, Bernina is sending us some of, her, of their educators. Mm -hmm. So she's going to do a, um, a little bit about the Bernina serger. And if you want to come and do that quilt class, that coat class that we are going to be doing, we use sergers mm -hmm. for that coat class. 
So they're going to do a little demo on the on the really neat sergers from Bernina. They air thread and a bit, none of that weird stuff about how to thread all those five, four or five spools on the your inner looper and, inner the outer looper and all over locker stuff. and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> but um, and then they're going to have a make and take uh, bow tie thing. And that is uh, from 930 to 1130. So two hours you can come and watch how these machines work and stuff like that. On the 790. Yep, yeah. on, on the really high end, beautiful new machines. And then at 1145 to 230, that's when we're going to do Mr. Olchi and all, all that kind of stuff. And and he's going to pick a winner. Yeah, he's going to draw. I heard that he was um, going to be signing sewing machines. If yeah, so if interested. you, I think, yeah, if you buy a sewing machine, he's going to be signing it for you. So, yeah. and he doesn't come to America very often. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I don't even think he came last year. So this is the first time he's come, I think, in two years. And he picked primitive gatherings to come. Yeah, he this is where he, where he, this is where he wanted to go. So we are super excited and we want to have a really good party for all of us and for him to show him how excited we are about him continuing the, uh, he's a sixth generation owner of Bernina. So they've been around forever and they are, uh, they're not a publicly traded company. Nope. They are the so, world's largest privately owned company. Yeah. So, I mean, and this is a big, big deal. So we really, really want to show him how cool, we are here from Wisconsin or Michigan or Illinois or wherever you're close, wherever. come. Yeah, because it's going to be super fun. So yep. can't say enough about that event. Yeah. So that's available online. You can purchase tickets for that online on our interactive events calendar. And it it does say uh, Mr. Olchi's visit, correct? Right. On the event. <laughs> it's Heidi put it there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, so, we're trying to use all this technology we have. So we now. don't care. I mean. You can certainly call me if you need to, but it's available. So if you wake up at two o'clock tomorrow morning and say, oh, I think I really need to come to that. Get on it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, let's see. Oh, boy. Uh -oh, I see she's skipping around here. No. All right. I'm just looking to see what's coming. All right. So people have been asking about this. We are going to do another purge and splurge sale, um, meaning we are going to set up the gathering as an indoor market where people can get rid of that yeah. stuff that you got hanging So if around. you want to come and shop, mark the date for this. And that is? That is um, the 8th of June, which is a Saturday. If you want to be a vendor for that, you can call me and we'll get you set up with a booth. Um, and the cost of that is $25 for the vendor. All right. And we're only going to do 9 to 2 p.m. Right. Last year we did it and we heard from the vendors that that might be a yeah. little bit too long. It was long like, on. yep. And then, and fun. then about, you know, one o'clock. Yep. Yeah. So everybody yeah. came in the morning. So we're going to just try to only do it till two. Yeah. So um, call me. The flyers are up, correct? Yep. Yep. So you can read all about that. And if you have more questions, you can give me a call. Oh, okay. Yeah. One of them you'll see, it says vendors, vendors wanted, wanted at the top mm -hmm. and then the next one says purge and splurge sale. So that'll tell you about um, when you can come and shop and what kind of things you might find. Right. So, yep. We did. Or if you have some of these things that we think people will be selling, that's kind of what we, we have in mind to be selling. Yes. Dear. There's some interesting questions coming in about that. Um, if they are vendors, are they able to stay overnight? What do we do? Um, last year we did. Yeah, you can call me at the gathering. <laughs> Why don't you know? Is the event one day or two days? You might want to so it, it it ends up being two a days. couple a couple days. The actual sale is one day from nine to two on Saturday, but there's prep work for that. So the vendors are going to be allowed to come in on Friday and set up their booth space and and get settled before the sale. So yeah, two different dates. If you're a vendor Friday and Saturday. If you're coming to the sale, then it's just Saturday. Because didn't last year we give them, if people came on Friday night, they got to shop yeah, from like nine. We're that. not doing that. We're not doing that. Whoop. But, whoop. So, but do call me though, if you are a vendor and you're coming from a distance or whatever, we can, we can talk. Okay. Okay. All right. What else? Going All right. The gathering. Chessie and me. All Chess right. Chessie and me is actually a um, Linda. Schlager. Yep. She's actually from Wisconsin. Yeah. She is a cross stitcher. Um, she was requested by 
uh, quite a few people in our cross stitch group. So we got her to come and she will be here on, um, let's see, Friday, June 14th and Saturday, June 15th. So, so is you'll, it two days or one day? Is it, is it a, it, so they can come okay. and check in on Thursday. So they're ready for yeah. uh, the retreat on Friday, stay Friday, Saturday, check out Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Um, so we have both options available. Of course. So day people can come if they just want to come for the day. Right. And there's probably a nice big number of spots because for cross stitch, they only need a chair and table in front of them. Correct. Right. And they're, they're not like, um, when she comes, she's really not teaching. It's more like socializing, right? Yeah. And having yeah. fun. Stuff like yeah. That. yeah. So, um, and, and she might have some things to teach, but yeah. And the cost, um, includes your kit and your meals. Is this a exclusive design? It is. Oh, awesome. So Linda likes to do reproduction, um, antique sampler types okay. of things. So you can see on the flyer, there's kind of, she just sent little snippets because she doesn't want to give show it all the whole away. thing. It's beautiful. Cross stitchers don't typically do that. You gotta, gotta go and be surprised. <laughs> I tried yeah. to get it out of you. I know. She wouldn't give it up. Nope. <laughs> no, I mean, that's, that's all she sent. She says, well, I don't want to give it away. I said, okay. Mystery cross stitch. That's it. So, mm -hmm. so that's what's going on pretty much that till mid June. Good. We've I got a lot of other things in the work. So pay attention to what's happening on, on Facebook and we'll let you know about the other stuff. Okay. Darcy's in the chat. Yeah. She's Darcy's in the, the chat. Time. Darcy, where are you, Darcy? But she hasn't. Why Darcy, check your email. Your messages. Yes. Let's see. All messages. Darcy, check your email. <laughs> Hit on her, the link. Here's her last message. <laughs> what? Question, 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 question. Darcy, we want you to see your face. We want to see your ladies who you're with. Like if you check your email on your phone, we can get you on. She's like, oh, my gosh. All right. The brush. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Later. 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 <clears throat> All right. So just one more thing. Red, white, and blue. Retreat. Oh, it's full. It's full. It is full to the gills. Sorry. So no room at the end. So is Laura Heine, correct? And Laura Heine is full as well. All right. So you missed whoop. out. So the quilt behind me. <laughs> this is an antique. Isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. This is what we're going to recreate in red, white, and blue. So I have something here, maybe. So here's the fabrics we're going to use. This is my test block right here. So I found a little star fabric for the blue. And I found a stripe out of Dear Santa. So this will be in June, so Dear Santa will be ready. And I know this looks really crappy on my uh, monitor here, so hopefully it looks better on yours. But isn't it so cute? I just love this little stripe in here. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. So my group in June, I just want to show you. I got too much stuff here. <laughs> what we're working on. This size and this size. Where's the little ones? Oh, I don't have the other size. But my assistant is cutting them apart right now as we speak. <laughs> so that's one of our projects for Red, White, and Blue. I always like to recreate an antique quilt. And this one was super sweet. And that's why I had to buy it. And that's what we're going to do to recreate that. So if you're in, congratulations. We're going to have a fun time. We are also going to paint a barn quilt for the class as well. And speaking of barn quilts, this is one of the other works in progress I am working on here. So this is my first eight foot barn quilt is one of three. I painted this one last week. And then I was just downstairs painting this one here, number two, today. So each section takes about two or three coats, depending on how the paint covers. Some of those colors co cover more nicelier than others. Nicelier, is that a word? More, more nice. More better. 
more better, you know? I'm from Little Shoot, so that's my excuse. <laughs> that's how we talk. Uh, yeah. So I am having a blast making these signs. There's Scott. So Scott is the one who put all the signs together. They are made out of marine board, which is $128 a sheet for marine board. And you need two of them. And there he is. He's such a honey. He's like, do you want me to just draw it out? I'm like, really? I don't have to draw it? He goes, no, I can do that. I'm like, oh, heck yeah. So I had to have a picture of him and I, because this is a joint effort. He's the one that uh, drew it all out on the eight foot board for me. He tapes off all of the sections for me. So then I just go in there and quickly paint them. So with, see that cute little roller I have? It's only about this big and it just covers those so nicely. The hardest thing is just waiting for it to dry. But I absolutely am in love with this. I'm going to cover my whole building with them if I can afford to. But <laughs> yeah. And then the other thing is, is they weigh a lot. So behind there, he has like a two by four frame and it is pretty, they are pretty heavy and pretty substantial. So he's looking into ways to hang them on the side of the building. They are going to go on the south side of the warehouse, kind of behind the black truck, if you know where that is here. And we are going to spread them out and then maybe put some flower boxes underneath them. I'm not going to hang them really high. I'm going to hang them kind of down low and um so we can enjoy them you can get your pictures taken by them we are going to we are going to put the one up high on the back sometime this summer but i'm trying to get these done before mr ulchi comes so they're they're nice out there so let me know if you have ever painted a barn quilt yourself or maybe you want to take a class here we can do some barn quilt painting here i've pretty much perfected my little method here and i love it so if you want to do that, let us know in the chat and we will see if there's enough room or enough interest for some of those classes as well. And if my sister ever comes home from Texas, maybe she can help me too. All right. What were you going to say, Jess? Nothing. Nothing? I'm going to ask Peggy, is she got any room anywhere? <laughs> yeah. There's hardly any room in the, in the gathering calendar. And here is here, Peg, why don't you take these with you? And then I'm going to clean away my things here so I... Keep going. Do we have any questions before I go on? Yes. No, we have a couple. Let me look here. Um, and these are kind of all over the place. Mm -hmm. So when is your cult class? When is my cult class? It is going to be in October. October 7th, anywhere, 7th through the 10th. Somewhere between the 7th and the 10th. It might be two different classes in there, depending on how much interest we have. So that those are the dates, the 7th through the 10th, and it might be the 7th and 8th. And then the 9th and 10th. So we're, that's what we're thinking right now. And it's going to run alongside the Bernina event where you can come and take a long arm class. And we're going to run the coat class as kind of part of the Bernina series as well, because we're going to use those Bernina sergers and do some really cool stuff. So we're kind of put that in with the Bernina education, because to tell you the truth, that was the only spot left we could find. <laughs> so a good question on the coat class, quilt class. Where did you get your shirt? Uh, my shirt is a uh, Sweetwater design, and it comes in a bunch of colors. And uh, Peggy said her she can't she got one in olive. I'm kind of jealous. I like olive too, but Sweetwater. Do you know the the um the exact Sweetwater yeah Sweetwater Design Company? I think maybe tell Carla the Sweetwatershop.com. Sweetwatershop.com. There you go. She always has excellent, excellent t-shirts. I love the long sleeves. Super cool. Any updates on when you are going to have a rug hooking class? Yes, rug hooking class or rug punching class, I believe is in May. No? Oh, hang on. Well, two, different, two, different. two different things we got. Okay, here we go. So my Mackinac classes, the rug punch, we're going to run one of those in May. And that is probably like right before week of, the 20th. week of the 20th, right before, what is that? Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. All right. So we're going to do a little class there. And then we didn't really officially announce this yet. So help spread this. If you're a rug hooker or you know people who are interested, we are going to do a, our an annual rug hook hook in here where Nancy Parcells, who did, who I went to Searsport and took the class from her. She's coming here in the end of August. 
along with Katie Puckett's going to do some classes and along with our um, Susie Jankowski here, three McGowan certified teachers going to be here the end of August. So we didn't officially put that on yet, but we will be firming all those up soon. And you can take like a class from this teacher and then a class from that teacher and a class from that teacher. So I don't really know how that all works, but we're ironing out all the details on that and it's going to be super fun. And I highly, highly, highly suggest that you come and hang out with us if you're remotely interested in the rug hooking or punching. So don't call me yet. Though. Don't call Peggy yet, she said, about the rug cooking, all right? We're going to talk about it next week, and we'll get you out of the Yeah, market. next week we'll, next week for sure you can probably sign up. We'll have that ready by next week. All right. Will there be any basket classes? Basket classes. Uh, we can talk to Sherry and see if she wants to do a basket class, but right now, no, because we are – full at the gathering or not full, but we are getting there. It's hard to find something to put in there. So look at this. Uh, this is American Patchwork and Quilting's June issue. It comes out the 5th of April. So this is just a figment of your imagination. <laughs> I don't really have one. All right. I have an advanced copy, but I really want to show you. I'm only going to show you the first page, but there is a 10 page spread of our place here and you guys made this happen right this is just as much an accomplishment that you helped make as it is for me so i am super stoked about this being in here and once the whole country knows and who else who knows how hard it's going to be into the gathering so if you want to come here please 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 don't hesitate because everybody's going to know about primitive gatherings new place they might have known the old place but now they're going to know about the new place because believe it or not there is a lot of people who do not know primitive gatherings exist even in this state of wisconsin and i know some of you are like oh my god how no really really i can go a lot of places and nobody knows who i am and nobody knows who primitive gatherings is. so if you can help us out by telling everybody that you hang out with us here on thursday that would be awesome so everybody can get their fix of primitive gatherings. And you know, we offer tons and tons and tons of things here, but one of the most special things that we offer here is friends and socializations and cool things to do. So that to me is more important than what I'm learning is about hanging out and meeting new people. And I want to just do a little shout out because I met a new friend yesterday. Her name is Rhonda and she is from Canada and she was in the shop yesterday when I walked through with my messy ponytail and, you know, my sweats on. And she recognized me and she was like, ah. Oh. And, uh, yeah, she's, 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 she what? She was here at 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, she sat out in the car till the store opened up and then came in. And yeah. So Rhonda, thanks for joining us tomorrow. And she says she's going to bring some friends to come back to the gathering at some point. She was with her husband, who was super awesome bringing her here and driving her around to all the things that she wanted to do. And she was here yesterday and she was back again today. So hi Rhonda. Nice to meet you. All right. What was that? Nothing. Okay. And anything else about the barn quilts? Will they be able to see them from the highway? Uh, not right now. Not these three. They're going to be on this. They're going to be on the part of the highway that or part of the building. Sorry that is um perpendicular to the highway the highway runs this way and this building runs this way but someday on the back of the building we will put one up high and put quilt shop i think that's all we'll have to do is barn sign and quilt quilt shop since we don't have a sign on the highway yet yeah we tried to get one of those on the little blue uh info sign they won't give us one because we're not a restaurant we're not we don't serve the public and you know all those Stupid rules they got. <laughs> All right. What else? Anything? Uh, we're good for now. Okay. So grab this copy on our website. You can grab this to make sure you get one if you don't already subscribe. But it is awesome. And I don't want to ruin it for you because, like I said, it's just a good honor for me. You guys made that happen, too. So I appreciate you guys supporting us so we can keep doing this fun stuff here. All right. So I want to talk about another little thing quick before I go on to some more of my works in progress. Did my friend Darcy check her email yet? Just said hello. 
Hello. Uh-huh. Hello. I don't know. She's ditching me. She's supposed to hear. She's supposed to be on the chat. She's on the chat. She forgot. Let's call her. Hey, this is Darcy Strobel. I can't come to the phone right now. Please. Because I'm at Sears Port Rug Hooking. Should I text her the link? Yeah. See if you can text it to her. All right. Anyway, she's. I think she just messes with us. Okay. We have. A retirement here at Primitive Gatherings. And I want to say congratulations to Lynn. She worked in our kidding department for 12 years. And today we had a little pizza party and gave her a little present and a box full of goodies there. She's an avid baker. We are going to miss her treats that she brings us in every now and then. But congratulations, Lenny. We're mad that you're leaving us, but we're happy for you. She's, she brought all, was it six little grandkids in the other day or it was so cute. She's got like, I don't know, five girls and one boy or something like that. Two boys. Two boys, two boys and a bunch of girls. We're all jealous and they're all like the same age. Yeah. They're all like within like two or three years. So there's Lenny. She's right there by the letter R. I tried to get her to come on, but she's a little shy. So we got a picture of her. Thanks, Lenny for 12 great years working here at Primitive Gatherings. All right. So that's all I have for announcements and other things that I had on my list to talk about. All right. So let's talk about uh, what I've been stitching and working on. And you might get a sneak peek at something. So if you don't want to know, don't watch this part. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go over... Um, the blockheads block. So this is our first or first, our current mode of blockheads. Remember, I'm doing this light gray background and then navy in every block and then some other colors. I believe uh, we have 13. This is already like 13, block 13 already in round two. So lots of blocks there already. And then let's talk about our Twilight Stars. I saw something really cool right before I went on. One of the ladies had all hundred of her blocks laid out, four in a group. I can't remember her name because I um, was just right before I was perusing before I came on. But we're getting down there. We are like on week like 40. It's 41. <laughs> you have number and then nothing. Well, that's because I like to see 40. What are we on? That's, those will be 41. These are 41? All right. So week 41 was last week. So these are week 41's blocks. And if you posted them on Stitch with Lisa Bon Jean, you were eligible to win one of Heidi's famous prizes. Ruth Tacoma, you have won week 41. And we have only nine more weeks left. So tomorrow, week 42's blocks will post. I can't believe how fast that has gone. And I only have like, I think six more blocks to make. So that's what I'm going to get done this weekend and start putting mine together so I can get the finishing directions out for you guys that aren't comfortable doing that on your own. We will have some ways to set your quilts. And remember that if you are a weekly winner, you will then get put in a drawing to either win a $200 gift card for the store, or we will quilt your Twilight Stars quilt for you in the Bernina long arm division over there. All right. So congratulations, Ruth. You are the winner. And then I just want to briefly talk about the blue and white quilt show. We'll talk more about this coming up, but this is on the website. I believe now that you can download all of the information and you can start planning your blue and white quilt for our quilt show that happens during Primitive Christmas, which is the week end before Thanksgiving. All right. That's when we start our, our quilt show. Do you have that one or no? No. All right. So I'll quit waiting for you. <laughs> so that's just a, a little heads up that we have that coming up and we are going to do a whole live on the blue and white quilt show. Okay. All right. What do I have next? I want to talk about, 
I say it's okay. Bring that over. Did that just come in? It did. It's for the event and I wasn't up here for it. All right. So here we go. We are going to be selling these, selling these, or what are we doing with these? Yep. And they'll be in our gift basket. Too. Yeah. So they're going to be in our gift baskets. All right. So Bernina and Primitive Gatherings. I got a pretty good feeling that we might be giving these away to people who buy machines now too. <laughs> going to up our game a little bit. All right. So that is for our Bernina event. We are super excited about that. Come join us. Come hang out. Come eat our good food. It's all about the food, right? All right. Am I saying anything about this? Yeah. Okay. I might as well just keep going. What's in front of me? We also have our holiday box on our website as well. So this will be the one that will ship out in August, the beginning of August. We have a, we ship them out right after our um, wool box. I think we have a wool box in July. So this will go out right after that one does. And I will be working on this shortly. So I'm super excited about that. And Jessica has some options for you on there. I think there's a wool option. There's a cotton option, and then there's a wool and cotton option if you want them both. So she's trying to accommodate every one of your needs, whether you like wool only, whether you like both of them, or you don't, you're allergic to wool and can't do wool. I feel bad for you. But I know there's people out there that can't do wool for that reason. All right. What does that say there? What is Grandma Kimberly trying to say to me? Every year you could add a new barn quilt to the building. Maybe do one in the colors of the quilt show every Christmas. It would be great to show the history of the quilt shows. That's a great idea. Yep. So I did paint a little um, preview of the first one I did. I had a little one uh, that I, that I uh, tested my colors on. So see, there was, and I see, and it was a good thing because you see the brown I used was too, too dark. And then when I went to pick out paint for it, you can see how it got lightened and much more noticeable now. So I consider this a original design because I put that block inside that block. So therefore it's mine. <laughs> Yeah, and I got a, a fun Lone Star variation. That's the one I'm painting right now. And then we are going to do, I, I texted Doug and said, hey, how would you like it, your Chatsworth block to be a Barnes quilt? And he's like, heck yeah. So he gave me permission to do his block. So I'm pretty excited to do his block as well. And it's got four different, five different colors in it. So that really leans good with my color scheme that I want for the outside of the building. So thanks grandma Kimberly for that great idea. We will do some of that because it is fun painting them. It really, really, really is. Okay. All right. Onward. So I want to talk about the Mackinac projects quickly because uh, shortly after Mackinac, I will teach all of these here at Primitive Gatherings. So this is a punch needle class. So this is embroidery thread in here. Okay. So this is my black star center that I did as a punch needle. Isn't it great? So that's one of the classes. And I think we're going to do three days and five classes, Jess. Do you remember? We are doing... Five classes in four days. Five classes in four days. All right. And then another one will be, it'll be this panel or Dear Santa panel. <laughs> it's, it's backwards on my screen. So this cute design here. We're going to learn how to make triangles. And guess what? Look what we noticed yesterday. Right here. There's a boo-boo. Right in here. See it? See how it's supposed to be like this elongated shape? Look at here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Three of them right here in a row. Photoshop. <laughs> For the it's okay. It's okay. Don't care. Happens. 
All right. And like I said, I will have more Dear Santa panels than I will have a Sam the Snowman, but I can't really tell you how many yet until it gets closer to the event. All right. This is, this is a mini quilt that I want to teach on how to make tiny, tiny triangles. These are half inch, three quarters, and I believe one and a half inch. All right, so we're just gonna we're gonna make this quilt in a couple hours, and you're not gonna be afraid anymore of little triangles or little quilts. Even this is a rug, a little mini rug that we are going to be doing. This is punched. You can hook it or you can punch it, whatever you like. That's what it looks like on the back. I can't remember what I called this. And if you're in California, I think I might have submitted these to teach in California as well. In January. So he asked me to submit some stuff. So this, I said, okay, I'll submit the same things I'm teaching here. There we go. Isn't this beautiful? So all five, one, two, three, four, five, all five of these classes in May, after I get back from Mackinac, about two weeks after I get back, I believe. Okay. Is the star punched with wool or? The star is wool strips. Yeah. I really, really, really like wool for the punch. I don't like the yarn. The yarn looks like a kind of like a knockoff, like a, yeah, like that. I said it. You said it. Yeah. I didn't say it. <laughs> yeah. So I like my projects to use wool to so they look like real hooked rugs. Any word on my friend Darcy? I sent her text. She didn't respond. I think she shut her phone. I think she I am not sure it. how this works. Can't wait to see the barn quilts. I am perhaps the biggest techno dot oh. dolt in the state. Ha, ha, ha. She says, internet is slow here. I have an external Wi-Fi, but so far not hooked up. No, oh, so she can't hook up. Okay. I really wanted to say hi to the ladies there. I miss them, and I even been working on my rug. She's continuing to try. Okay. All right. So. Okay. All right. So. Let's talk about some other things that I am currently working on. Uh, let's start with this. So let's start with the wool box. All right. I'm always working on the wool box. Hang on, hang on. So I'm going to show you my six blocks. This is year one put together here. I can't hold it all up at the same time. So here is block one, two, three, four, five, six. And I don't do too crazy. I just do kind of basic embroidery. I'm not killing this with all kinds of stuff. There are many of you out there who are, and you are amazing for what you do. I'm lucky enough to get my stuff done in time for these girls to start kidding for the next one, but I am a little ahead. So here is blocks seven and eight. Here's my little pieces that go on between the blocks. So I just, wait, hang on. I just bag those and put those on. All right, and then how big of a little peak should I give you? All right, I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give my woolies a little peak. Here is part of block nine. All right. See that beautiful sunflower? So you get a sneak peek, Woolies. And I know a bunch of you are getting your boxes as we speak, and you're so super excited about the projects in there. I know. Don't you love that big project in there this month? And let me tell you, it's a great one. We... Uh, didn't have any room for anything else to put in that box because that one project pretty much ate up everything in the box <laughs> and probably, as I say, blew the budget. But I wanted you to have it because it's super fun and it'll be beautiful on 
my table as well as yours. If I can sneak it out of here. Uh, okay. So I am doing this. I'm gonna, just going to show you this. I'm already working on Christmas stuff. So these are some snowflakes here. I'm just going to give you a peek. I'm not going to say what that is because sometimes I can't tell you everything. I did do a couple of these blocks. So this is my done pile here of my little sheepies. I'm still working on these. So if you're working on these with me, you're not alone. But this isn't my most pressing one. So this one doesn't get worked on as much as, there's another sneak peek that, oh, there's my other set of keys that I've been looking for. Good thing one has two. So I'm just going to show you this. So this is going to be coming up in a box, in a wool box, but I'm not going to show you anything else. You know I love pennies, right? Don't put them back in. Nope. I know where they are now. <laughs> I know until two minutes later. Okay. And then I got to show you, I got a little story for you. So I had this quilt came back from the Bernina quilting studio and every day I, I, I would, I just made it. Right. And every day I'd put it on her chair cause I thought she would take it home and put the binding on. Right. And every day I'd come back and it'd just be thrown on the pile over here. I'm like, what the heck's going on? So one, she didn't know it was finished and whatever. And I said, if you're not going to take that home, I'll take that home and then I'm going to keep it. And she's like, I, you could have that one. I like the other one better. But look at how beautiful this is. Isn't this great? Isn't this like perfect guy gingham? So it's gray and black. And it's super awesome. So we will have these on our website. Just has got it on our list to put up for these easy, simple gingham ones that we can make out of our fabric that comes in July. So it would be like a pre-order, but I have a inkling that these fabrics are going to go fast. So if you want that, make sure you get that. Okay. I'm down to one last thing. Give me a couple questions first. If you have any. Do you have wool pennies in the store? Yes, we do have wool pennies already pre-cut for you and ready for you to, when we sell these little freezer or freezer, fusible discs that you can put underneath them. So you don't have to uh, just pin them. You can fuse them down. And someone said, you have wool boxes? I think we're on year six of wool boxes, right? Yep. This is our sixth year of our wool subscription boxes. They, I believe, are base priced at $72. And then I think they add on something for shipping. Isn't that no, for shipping? Huh? No, no, no. They're $72. Okay. $72 with shipping. You want to know if you, you will do a current tour of the shop for them soon? <laughs> Maybe someday, but not right now. What we do, um, because the shop has changed a lot, the shop and the whole warehouse. What we do is when you come and stay with us for three or five days, that's part of your perk is you get to see the behind the scenes. And I think it's a cool perk for staying with us. All right. And trust me, we have changed since that first video. I look at that first video. I'm like, oh, my God, look at how sparse everything was. So we have definitely filled in a lot of stuff since that. They're really wanting to know more about those little sheep. Those little sheeps? Yeah. I'll show you what they were. Hang on. All right. So those little sheep are going to be put together into a quilt, right? So this is 25 sheep. And I had to make this so we could make this, which is running yardage. But I had to have a mock-up so they could do this. All right. So we have this coming in 
in July as well. This is, you can make a quilt. You can make a fake quilt. <laughs> you can either stitch them all like this, or you can fussy cut them and just make a cheapy quilt. But that's where this came from is me wanting to make a whole big quilt of these. So I'm just gonna keep making them. This is all full of little sheepies. And I'm just gonna keep making them until I can make a nice size quilt. That's really a quilt and not a fake one. <laughs> but this is for the people who want a quick quilt to give away, this cute little baby quilt. And this is for the person who wants to do all the stitching, okay? Is the fabric flannel or cotton? Flannel. This is flannel. So farmhouse flannels are meant to look like wools. I know that's kind of confusing, right? <laughs> but they are designed to look like the wools that we use for all of our things. But that is super, I'm super excited to get that panel back in. And we have a couple quilts designed with it. Are we reselling that fabric? Yes, this fabric is for sale on our website right now. Is it still on sale? Uh oh. So whenever we come on and we talk about the fabric lines that we do, when we first, before we place our order, we let everybody do a kind of a pre sale and we put it, we give you a percentage off if you order right away because that really helps us know what to buy for yardage, lets us know what quilt kits are the most popular. So we're, we're prepared because it's a crapshoot. We don't know. We don't know which one of these is going to be a top seller. And we hate running out of fabric two weeks after the fabric lands because we don't want that. We want to be able to predict uh, so we can have our fabric for a couple months. Darcy's here. Darcy. She's on. Yay. Sugar. All right. Put her on. <laughs> All right. So do we have a sound for her? Yep. I can't hear her. Yes, you can. can you hear me? Now I can. All right. Hey, Luann. Here's another friendly face from our uh, our Hi. class that we took in January. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Why aren't you here? I can barely hear you, but what are you working on? there? Yes, I wanted to see that. I saw it last week on Facebook. Yeah, it hasn't gotten too much, and I've been too busy jacking. And it's Laura, right? Luann. Luann. Oh, dang. Yes. <laughs> Luann. Can she see it? Okay. Can she see it? Who she, else she is there? It? Um, Let me see. Most of the ladies went home. I bet I could find Chris here. Hey, Chris. Yes. Look, we're on live with Lisa. Hi, Lisa. From Searsport Rugby. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Rotunda West. I know. You guys got to come here sometime. Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be so fun. <laughs> look at she's cutting kits. And look if at If you all haven't people. been to uh, Searsport, you have to go. It is so much fun there. The ladies are awesome. They're all crazy, just like us. <laughs> There's right. Julie. There's Julie. Hi, hey, Julie. Hey, so, hi. Julie, everyone, this is <laughs> these two, Julie and her mom, they're the ones, that, they're the reason why I have that. We have that awesome bread now at the retreat house. Okay. <laughs> Erica has. <laughs> Run away with bread that recipe. bread recipe, okay? And every and we're Sunday. all gaining weight because of it. For Easter, I gotta make six loaves. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I'm so proud that I actually made. I, I actually was not a bad uh, technology gal today. You figured it out, Darcy. I had I no worries. You were gonna figure it out. If I stayed on you, credit for <laughs> my grandchild children would be so proud. I'm gonna give a quick spin around this place. Yes, show everybody where you're at. <laughs> Look at all this wool. Isn't this amazing? Here. It's amazing, let me tell you. So we had about 50 ladies here uh, hooking today and I can only come because I'm already in Florida. So I just drove across three hours <laughs> and all the ladies were here from our class. It was fabulous. Oh, awesome. So Julie, you have, you have another class coming up in 25 that I saw that you just announced? She has one in March and I got in on it, so. 
you want if you want to go, let's talk about it. I have already okay. Worked. All right. <laughs> All right, Darcy. I miss happened. you. I miss you. Come home soon. Yeah, I will. All right. See you. Bye. It was good to listen today. Yes. Bye, bye, bye everyone. Thanks for jumping in. So Darcy's been gone since I think the beginning of March. Something like that. But I want her to come home. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to give you another sneak peek here. April 23rd, we are going to release our mini patterns. So this is our first mini quilt pattern. And it will release on April 23rd. And we will let you know the details of that coming up. But I thought I'd give you a sneak peek. This is uh, Alicia made this. She is, um, it's just made out of half square triangles and squares. And I know you're all really good at making one inch half square triangles now. So nobody's afraid of this, but isn't it cute design? We love this. We love this. Okay. So I'm so glad Darcy got to come on. I'm going to pick some winners. I am looking along one more time to make sure I showed you all of the things I'm working on. But I literally stitched uh, half square triangles yesterday for this guy here. All these guys, you know. And then this one here, I showed you those. But we're cruising along on that. And Heidi's going to give me some winners here. Looks a bit scary. What's scary? <laughs> we don't do anything scary. Don't forget about the pin in the coat. Oh. Yeah, we don't want anybody doing that, right? All right, any other questions before we say goodbye today? Remember, we do have comments sold after this, and it's about, I think, embroidery stuff, cool stuff. It's got some fun stuff going on there. I got too many mugs here. Any other questions? Are we good? Uh, is the mini quilt part of weekend of a weekend retreat? Once a month, every 23rd of each month, we're going to release a mini quilt pattern. I don't know what that looks like yet. I don't know if it will be. What I'm going to encourage you to do is to buy the garden gatherings towers because that's what we made. We're going to make 12 mini quilts out of those towers. And I say towers because one is all colors. And the other one is all shirtings. So this one is one of the shirtings and one of the reds. Okay. I think you'll be teaching in California anytime soon. Will I? Yeah. Well, if they accept my classes that I just showed you, I will be there at the end of January 25. All right. So oh, that's all I know. <laughs> How many small sheep to make your quilt? Best guess. How big? A lot. I don't know. So if this is three by, so this is 15 by 15. So I imagine several of these. <laughs> It'll be a throw. It will not be a bed quilt. <laughs> All right. Anything else? When will you release the pattern behind you? Uh, after we make it in class. So the end of June. Mm -hmm. Isn't it super cute? I can show you something else too. So what do you think this is all about here? See that? <laughs> she totally did a block that doesn't fit doesn't and she just whacked it off so she made it and didn't execute it very good so she just whacked it off and put it in the quilt so still a beautiful quilt though isn't it i'll show you that again if you quick want to see that it looks totally different doesn't it My stripes are a little bit closer together, which I actually like. Isn't that great?
Can't wait. Can't wait. All right. Last chance. Let's pick the grand prize winner. We have a jolly roll of this looks like American Gatherings one. Patricia Rupert, you won the jelly roll. That's yours. I'll put the pin in it so we don't lose it. He's always said you still have one under the mini coat so you don't sit on it. Oh, how do they see that? How can they see that? That's awesome. All right, then magazine. I'm going to give one of the magazines away. So if by chance you already are a subscriber to this, just let Heidi know when you email your address to us and we'll give you another a different, a different prize if you already subscribe to this. And I'm just going to say that I have gotten this magazine forever. And this is the only one I really ever had besides um, primitive quilts and projects. But this magazine to me is if we all need to support so these magazines don't go away. So make sure you get a subscription. By the time they give you their best offer ever, it's like dirt cheap. You get like, you know, three or five years for hardly nothing. So support this magazine and get yourself a subscription of this because they help businesses like mine and other women. I mean, without this company, I'm gonna tell you this right now, without American Patchwork and Quilting, us being in a quilt sampler in 2006, which is, they would pick 10 shops and they would do this quilt shop direct or, you know, like the top 10 quilt shops in the country at the time back then. And we were featured in it and that just launched my business. It just really put us on the map and we became a destination for people from all over who were visiting or whatever to come and hang out at primitive gatherings. So without them helping me, I wouldn't be where I am. So I'm trying to help them keep their subscription very live. So we can continue to get these awesome, awesome projects. And this is a Jen Kingwell quilt. Just saying. All right. <laughs> and I think you can make that out of blue jeans. I love making things out of blue jeans. Okay. So onward to the magazine. prizes. All right. So the magazine is going to Stephanie Tabarez or Tabarez. You have won the magazine. And like I said, if you already get that, let Heidi know. And we will pick another prize for you. And then we have some, our usual charm pack Heidi prizes. And they go to D Johnson and Kathy Jazz. Jazz. J-A-S-S. -S. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today. Remember, comment sold right after this. And we will see you next week. And we are going to be doing, ooh, Dear Santa stuff. So look for that. We have some really cool things with that. The book is done and being shipped out to our distributors and our stores right now. And if you pre-ordered that, you will be getting that shortly. If you only ordered the book, we'll ship it out now. If not, we'll wait till if you have a fabric with it, we will ship your book with the fabric and the fabric doesn't come in till May sometimes. So just know that. All right. Okay. We got to go now.